Hello. Welcome to this series of market basket analysis. In this series we will uh, understand what exactly market basket analysis is. Uh, we'll understand association rules and uh, we'll go into depths of two different algorithms uh, that work on the association rules concept. So a market basket analysis is very widely used in the retail sector. Uh, especially in uh, cases of uh, supermarket so if you think of uh, offline supermarket where you go you take a basket and you are shopping and the idea of the market basket analysis is to understand the relationship between items that occur frequently in baskets so if you think of your uh, cart your shopping cart as a basket uh, then the products in it are uh, are the products amongst which uh, association rules uh we want to try and figure out so that we understand customer buying behaviors and patterns so um why is this important because a lot of things can be done once we understand these buying behaviors and patterns so for example uh, anyone purchasing bread is uh, quite likely to purchase butter as well right uh, so Understand. So while this is a very obvious example, um, understanding these things helps in uh, helps in things like arranging the products in the display. So if we know that butter is being purchased very frequently along with bread, uh, we can probably keep it near the bread so that when people pick up bread, they pick up butter as well. Uh, but not only that. Uh, so market basket works by looking for combinations of items that occur together frequently in transactions. Uh, so to put it an another way it allows retailers to identify relationships between the items that people buy so uh, there can be items that are not very obvious for example uh, there was this famous um, beer and diaper uh, example of walmart that is cited a lot uh, that they observed in a lot of baskets uh, beer and diaper uh, were bought frequently together and so this was uh, mostly because uh, that's in the us along with buying diapers they also bought some beer to chill um so it helps in a lot of things like customizing promotions so that some promotions can be worked out around it uh if it's some catalog that is being designed then uh, uh figuring out which items go where in the catalog this can be worked out by simply understanding which items occur together mostly uh you can do uh, cross market selling or a cross sell so once you understand this you can figure out the positions of the products uh, for example if uh, bread and butter are very strongly bought together uh, you might want to keep them together you might want to keep them a little apart also because you know anyone buying bread will buy butter and they will walk that path so they will they might see other products that occur in that path so um learning and analyzing the products bought together by the customers is called as market basket analysis Now uh, retail stores have huge number of transactions these transactions can be analyzed using market basket analysis to find meaningful patterns which can be used uh, and can be leveraged in store layouts as well So how does it work Retail stores have huge number of transactions these transactions are analyzed using uh, the market basket techniques and one of the algorithms that we will look into in more detail meaningful patterns are identified uh this helps in optimizing the in store operations as well and uh, in turn it helps increase in interaction of customers thus increasing the probability of the number of products uh, being bought and being able to sell more items so quickly um some of the advantages of uh, doing this market basket analysis especially if you have uh, sales uh, data anyways and nowadays uh, with everything being digital uh, each ba each basket as such is captured uh, so integrating market basket analysis and marketing can help optimize uh, promotional campaigns as products that have higher likelihood of purchase are sold frequently uh um, then predictive sale analytics can offer a clear pathway to increased sales and efficiency because we can figure out which items uh, go together uh and hence uh, uh and hence the inventory can be planned accordingly as well 
Uh, you can gain useful insights into the product association and uh, um, ability to trace hidden relationships between customers, association and relationships helps uh, the marketers then increase their market share. And of course, market basket analysis also helps in in-store operations in terms of uh, layout and inventory. In the next video, we'll talk about uh, association rules and the two types which we will see in the series.